Hi, my name is Jason Morjon. I'm an amp designer here at PRS Guitars. I'm here to talk about identifying the sources and causes of buzzes and rattles and amplifiers and ways that you can fix that. The first and most important tool in correcting any rattle is just the Phillips head screwdriver. Um, the most common cause of a rattle in an amplifier, a combo amplifier like this, is just going to be screws that have worked themselves a little bit loose as a result of shipping or vibration just from using the amplifier. The first place you should look uh, is the screws which attach the actual chassis of the amplifier into the cabinet and you simply want to just take your screwdriver and make sure that they're hand tight. You don't need to kill it, but you want to make sure that they are reasonably tight here. The next thing that you would want to look at is any of the auxiliary panels. They're also usually simply attached to the cabinet using some screws and those would be sort of the next place that you would want to just make sure that these are, again, hand tight to a reasonable degree to prevent any unwanted vibration. If you've made sure that all of the screws on your amplifier are already tight, the next thing you want to look at is the vacuum tubes themselves. They occasionally can become microphonic and they can actually cause the vibration themselves. Um, a lot of times the vibration of a tube will be uh, frequency dependent and there will be a particular note that you can play on the guitar that will cause that vibration to happen again and again. If you can reproduce the problem, you can take an eraser on a pencil and you can simply touch the tubes, power tubes and preamp tubes. Any one of these uh, can be the cause of the vibration and when you touch it with the rubber of the pencil, eraser it can dampen the vibration and, and get it to stop. And finally, if uh, the tubes don't appear to be the problem and all of your screws are tight, it's occasionally been the case that an internal of the speaker is actually rubbing and that's the sound that you're hearing unpleasant. If you have an external cabinet or another amplifier that you can send the signal out and use a different speaker, you can rule out the internal speaker as the culprit. If you have worked your way through all of these troubleshooting steps and you're still having uh, experiencing an issue with your amplifier, we recommend that you get in touch with the PRS customer service team and they can work with you for some case-specific troubleshooting uh, tasks or they can work with you to get the amp back for service at the factory. Thanks for watching. If uh, you have any further comments or questions, please get in touch with the PRS customer service team and have a great day.